Okay, so um, I had another sound issue. This is a retake of a sound issue. Sorry. Um, I made it so that I won't make that mistake again, probably. So, okay, um, we're talking about modals with React, and I'm going to do something kind of fun this time. Um, I'm going to go live in this code sandbox. I'm going to change this to classroom so only I can edit because otherwise things might get a little bit nuts. Um, but I'm going to paste this in the chat so anybody who's watching live can um, come and look around and stuff. I don't know, maybe that'll be fun. Um, but what we're looking at now is um, a, a use case for React portals. So uh, this is um, a recent feature in React. I think it's like React 16 something maybe. Um, I haven't really used it a whole lot, but there are some pretty good use cases for it. Um, and this is this is one of them. So if I click on this show a secret modal, pops up with the secret message, but um, the, the modal actually what is being rendered is all of this stuff, not just the box you see in the middle, but everything around. Um, that's where we're getting this position absolute, background color is all nice and stuff. The problem is that um, it's constrained to this little box. And that little box is this div, and it has a position relative. Now, if we didn't have the position relative there, it would be fine. It would work exactly as we want it to. But because that position relative is there, it's being constrained down to just this little box, which is kind of annoying. Um, and so um, like, this is a bit of a contrived example. You'd say, well, why don't you just remove that position relative? You don't need it. Well, I mean, in a real application, you're going to have modals that are um, initialized it like way down in your tree there's going to be position relative somewhere um, and there are other reasons where it can be useful to um, render something kind of outside of the react tree and so that's what we're going to do today so one way we could do this is uh, we'd say this modal has a render that just returns null and then on component did mount we use react dom dot render um, directly and we render to um, some other element and if we were to implement this directly in regular HTML and vanilla JavaScript, then uh, we just make our modal root div here alongside our application root, and then um, it's outside of the main tree. And, and so all of that would work just fine. Um, but React has a built-in mechanism for doing something like this so that it all kind of stays in the same tree. You don't have to do those kind of weird workarounds. So that is what we're going to be doing. So to do this, we're going to use react dom dot uh, create portal and the first argument for create portal is the same thing that you do in a regular um, render method so it's just the the uh, react elements that you want to have rendered in that portal um, but it does take a second argument and it's similar to react dom dot render in that way it takes an element so we're going to um, add a member property onto our class instance um, our modal instance that is called L. So let's go ahead and create that. The L is document.create element div. Okay, and then um, so we can render this and, and this actually would work, um, but the element right now is not um, attached to anything. And um, so we, we need to have it be attached to the modal root. So let's get a handle on that. We'll just copy this, call this modal, whoops, modal root. And then in component did, component did mount, we'll have um, modal root dot append child this dot L. And then um, when this thing unmounts, we want to remove it from the modal root. And so we'll say component will unmount modal root dot remove child this dot L. Cool. So let's see what happens. Ta-da! It works like magic. And here, if we pop this open in a new window, and then um, go here, just verify that this is working. Show secret modal. That thing appears right here, um, rather than where it's actually being rendered, which is below this button. Um, so as far as our code is concerned, that's being rendered below this button. Um, but as far as what actually happens, it's being rendered inside of the modal root, which I think is actually kind of neat. Uh, then we can look at the React Dev Tools here, and we'll see the modal is positioned right where um, we expect it to in React Dev Tools. Um, and uh, 
yeah, so it kind of works a little bit and a little nicer there. It's all in one cohesive thing here. So anyway, that's uh, that's React portals. There's not a whole lot to it, to be honest. Um, you like the only difference is you're instead of returning regular JSX, you return React DOM create portal, and uh, then you have to have an element that you mount this um, portal to. Um, and so that element needs to be in the document some um, in some way, shape, or form. In fact, we might be able to get away with doing something like this. I hadn't tried this, but probably should work. So then we show secret modal, and that works too. Uh, we don't need that extra element, and so then we can just pop. It kind of depends on your use case. You might have like multiple modals being rendered within this div or something. I don't know. Um, probably not a good idea from user perspective, but. Anyway, that totally works, and I hope that's helpful. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.